Hi, my name is Gabe O'Brien. Hi everyone, my name is Meredith. Hello, my name is Christian Garcia. Hey everybody, it's Randy Thomas from the Adventures of 5K. I'm seeing the sea levels rise. Outs and floods, um, wildfires, things like that. Well, seeing how things have so dramatically changed in just like the 50 years. Listening to the voices of the people around us and not leaving anyone out when it comes to the climate crisis is extremely crucial to actually making any change. We need to listen to climate protectors and the youth who will lead our future onto the path that we need to be on. There's absolutely no time left. It is time to take action where action has not been taken by listening to the ideas of youth and raising their voices so we can protect our climate. Hi everyone, my name is Meredith and I'm a marine biologist. And as our climate changes, we are going to be facing some extreme temperatures, highs and lows, as well as weather events. And that can affect our fish populations and our fisheries, those animals that we use to harvest every day in our lives. Those animals, they may travel to other areas to reproduce or even find their own food. So as we're facing climate change, we're gonna have to come up with solutions on how to mitigate the declines in our populations of these fish that we use to eat and of course use in our everyday lives. Just in my town alone, we are able to make a change through food security and education on healthy food options through our community gardens. As the climate gets worse, it will be harder to maintain farms and outdoor facilities with a lot of the same types of foods needed for our survival. It is important to have basic skills of growing and harvesting your own food and taking care of your health. Hi, my name is Gabe O'Brien and I founded BeachLex. Um, something that I would like to talk about is the importance of reducing plastic pollution and adopting a more sustainable lifestyle. Um, every year, nearly 100,000 marine mammals die as a result of plastic pollution. So I just think it's really important that we begin to switch to more sustainable alternatives to single-use plastics um, so that we can begin to combat this and um, just adopt a more sustainable lifestyle in general. Hello, my name is Christian Garcia. Did you know that planting trees is one of the fastest and cheapest way to remove carbon off our atmosphere? So it works by storing the carbon inside the trunk, leaves, and the roots, which helps slow the rate of climate change. Not only should we focus on planting different species of trees, but also figure out a way to cut back on fossil fuel emissions. Together, we can make this possible. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Randy Thomas from the Adventures of 5K. And I just really wanted to touch on how important it is for others and folks out there to get out in the world, out in science, out in nature, especially in the oceans. Um, growing up from Detroit, Michigan, I didn't have an ocean where I was, but I was always fascinated by the vastness and the beauty behind it. And it led me to into my adult years to actively pursue it. And once I did and was immersed in this underwater world that was different from my own, it was ultimately a life changer for me. And it went full circle for my life and my passions, which was originally sharks. And being in that space allowed me to align my inner self and go forth to educate and become more self-aware with being outside of my comfort zone and gaining a level of respect, which I feel like should be, is well needed across the board uh, in regards to humanity. And I feel like it bridges a gap by going out in the world and seeing the beauties in which they hold outside of our terrestrial comfort. Climate change is such a worrying, scary, and seems like it's an unreal issue. Um, this isn't the case. But I think that's what scares people so much. But we can more focus on what you can do to reduce emissions, the positives, that you can actually do something to make change and you can do something to make a difference because small actions do matter. And even though most people say they don't, they actually do.